you've, you've watched the debate. Tell me what impressed you about the debate. I can only say that I am incredibly proud of my son for his sincerity, for his realness, especially on that question towards the end. I mean, talk about being real and not just playing, you know, I mean, one of the things he said was, so many of the things, you know, was like, haven't we heard that before? Like the same routine about so many things. And, you know, it's just, for me, it's just refreshing. And I'm incredibly proud of him. You know, it wasn't about politics, about, okay, how do I hit a home run each and every time? It was about being sincere and being straight. So I, you know, he, by the way, he was not the most entertaining. That was Tischler. So let me, uh, let me be honest. Now, when you watch. I'm, I'm going home and figure out all the things he said. But, uh, I, I, look. Look, he's real, and that's the bottom line. You don't go to school to learn how to deal with transportation or sanitation. You know, when I ran 35 years ago, my opponent said, what experience do you have? Boy, did I learn fast. And, and that's really the truth. Well, that was my next fast. question. Did this remind you of when you ran for the first time, you were young, you were energetic, and, and oh, did this... This, By the that, way, when yeah. I ran a long time ago, people criticized, my opponent criticized me for being uh, part of JDL, for being a, a Jewish activist. And what, I, what was I doing? Fighting for Jews. But they criticized me because they thought it would be helpful. Uh, look, Yoni is a straight shooter. He's real. He's, uh, he's a real mensch. We don't find people like him that often, especially not in politics. So uh, now, was, now, if he wins, would you guide him, which is an asset? You know what? I, I don't have to guide him. You know, a lot of this in politics is common sense. You know, it's not rock. He said it's not rocket science. It's and one of the things he said that uh, most of us politicians don't do. We pretend to listen to people. We really don't. I hope I do, but we really don't. Yoni is real about that. He he said, I'm not smarter than the people in my district. People come up with great ideas. People come up with innovations. And he means it. You know, when he says, I want this to be a partnership, when he started, he said, I'm interviewing for a job. He meant it. I mean, that was real. He, you know, so I think, you know, we've come a long way. And uh, with Hashem's help, uh, he will be very successful next Tuesday. Listen, I, I give Hamidi a lot of credit for the debate. I think that there were some very serious questions that were asked. I think a lot of issues that were explored. I think that the debate really led itself to see who actually has the experience to get the job done. Our committee has a lot of very serious issues. We have a lot of very serious challenges that we have. And the reality is that we need someone with that expertise. And it's very clear that Common is the individual with that expertise. I give Hesha Tishler credit. I thought he actually did a very good job. And, and I'm sorry. Oh, oh, you're doing an interview. Oh, I apologize. I'm sorry, sorry, ten seconds. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I'll, I'll, I'll start from that point. I hope the debate was great. I give Hamdi a lot of credit. I think it was very clear who won the debate. Hamdi clearly has the knowledge and experience. Over 20 years of experience, 17 years on the community board. He's a lawyer. He's worked with me for the last eight years. He really knows how to get things done. I give Hashi Teshler a lot of credit. Clearly his work as a government expediter. And humor. He has an humor. understanding of the government work. I think that was great. I'm disappointed that Yoni wouldn't answer straight questions. I think there were a lot of critical questions that people want to know. One of the questions is about the marketing. Ah, the reality is that he was publicly supportive of a piece of legislation and effectively would bankrupt achievements. You could be in favor of punishing criminals without punishing achievers for actions they can't defend themselves against. That's a very critical issue in this campaign. I think a lot of people were shocked by his non-response. And I think that overall, there was an excellent debate. It was very clear that Common was a now, the marquee bill, do you think it could be changed, though, to do what Common Yeager said? It should be after the victim. I think that's I think what people want. It shouldn't changed. be about the I think it could have been changed. It was clear from his answer that that didn't bother him, and I think that's a serious issue. It's a serious question that when you're running to represent a community, whether or not you are concerned about the stability of our yeshivas, and the stability, quite frankly, of yeshiva tuition. Because what's going to happen is yeshiva tuition is going to go up. This past week, 
Catholic Church settled six cases in Brooklyn, $1.8 million. That's a big deal. And so you're talking about claims from 50 years ago. Now, the yeshivas don't have the money that the Catholic Church has. So what are parents out there who are looking at this and they're wondering and saying, how are we going to pay our bills if our yeshivas have to pay millions of dollars? I think you need to look prospectively in the future. But it's not fair to go backwards and say, okay, you know what? 50 years ago, there's a claim, and now we're going to shut the yeshiva down. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's reasonable. And I think Yoni's wrong on this issue. I think it's going to hurt him in our community. And I just think he doesn't get it, honestly, because he just doesn't pay tuition. And as a tuition paying parent myself, common pays tuition, education pays tuition. If you understand the struggles that you have, every dollar that is raised in our tuition, we spit blood as tuition paying parents. I think that's a critical issue. I think that's going to be a big issue over the next few days of the campaign. Now, one last thing. Now, if Colin Yeager wins, would he be able to reach out to you, even though you're not going to be in the Council, is this something where you could help and guide and be? Because you're an at, it will be an asset. Common, common is an expert, he's worked for me for the last eight years, he's helped me pass the security legislation, he's helped me renovate the parks, we're on track to renovate every single park in my district, the only council member in New York City. He's been on the community work for 17 years, but he does not need my help. But if he wants my advice, I'm always a phone call away, but I gotta tell you, he has more experience than I ever did, and he's gonna be great in the city council, and everybody should vote for him. Thank you very much. As a moderator, are you happy with the way it went? Yes, I am. Uh, I guess, uh, the, the purpose of a uh, debate is for the uh, viewers to get a feel of each candidate. And I definitely think that uh, the candidates express themselves to give the, the viewers a choice. And uh, the differences between them and the type of people they are and what they move for. school bus driver, right? Yes. Okay, and you asked about, uh, it was more of like a law enforcement uh, type of issue? It was about traffic safety and traffic flow. And I think they're very much interrelated because as traffic comes to a halt, people feel impatient and they're much more likely to do something illegal, like make a U-turn or go around the school bus. And you see as a driver over the last two, three years more recklessness and more agitated drivers behind the wheel? I've seen it all along, really. Um, Shimon, I think it was respectful. I think uh, I appreciate the opportunity to be here with the Hamadi and the Bisyaka that they opened their homes, uh, to stand here with Yoni and with Mr. Tischler and talk about the issues. And I think it's great that we had a chance to do that. I put forth my vision tonight, um, my ideas, my plans, my experience. My colleagues on the stage are the same. And I think over the next eight, nine days, the community is really going to have a chance to look at the, two, the three different candidates, decide who best represents our interests, our goals, our ideals, and make their choice on November 7th.